Good evening, this is Mike Farley. We're in Westlake, Texas tonight, and we have a awesome project on a hillside. So, how do you conquer a hillside? Well, it's kind of like an elephant. You have to take it a little bite at a time. So, that's how we had to deal with this particular situation. We had multiple elevations with the house and with the yard. So, the master bedroom was up 18 inches above the family room. The dining area was 24 inches above the family room. And and so we had to create some terraces to make everything work in this space. And then on top of that, you go to the back and you know we were another four feet higher in the back. And so we had to have all these different layers. And because the other thing that we we're dealing with is not just the house, we have the trees. And we can't change the elevation of the trees. You can't see it, but there's a massive oak tree over in this corner here. I mean, the trunks are like, there's two of them that are this big. And then there's another one that's that's only this big and then there's the one here and then several in the back here can't change the elevation around those trees and to top that all up we have a hillside going up so what happens when it rains the water comes down the hill so we've got to capture everything because otherwise this area is lower than everything so if we can't get the water and control it, this whole area becomes another swimming pool. And where does it go when it overflows into the family room, which that wouldn't be a good situation. So we have several fail safes for that. Uh, so the first thing is water coming off the hillside. We've got some walls set up here. We have a big French drain system. And we also have big box drain up in this area that has a trunk line that runs around the oak trees and takes the water out. So that, that's fail safe one. Fail safe number two is we've got a drain right over here in this corner that goes underneath the steps going into the master bedroom and feeds into the trunk line that drains all the way to the front of the house through a dry riverbed. If water happened to fall into this area, then that little area will fill up, it'll drain out, and that's why there's all gravel around that. We don't want any mulch covering that drain ever uh, because we, we don't want to have a situation where water backs up in here and heads off into the house. We have this sunken courtyard that we put this really cool pool in. So when you walk in the front door of the house, actually, before you walk in the front door of the house, there's an entry gate into a courtyard. And that lines straight up with the front door, which lines straight up with these big, huge windows on the back patio in the family room, which lines up straight looking down the length of this pool. So we don't have a lot of space, so we wanted to give them as much view of this pool as possible when you walked in. So that's why we ran the pool in that direction. And then we wanted some cool focal points when you walked in to see. And so we decided that the spa would be a really cool feature, so it was elevated up above the pool. Now to get in the spa comfortably, you wanted about chair height, which is 18 inches high, right? Uh, the problem is we needed higher than that for retaining standpoints. So we actually have a wall on the back of the hot tub spa that is raised up that supports uh, a patio furniture, which is has another wall behind that that's 18 inches high which acts as a seat wall which also then uh, helps give us an area where we can have a fire pit uh, that we can gather around so we have all these different terraces that really work really well with the space okay so it's a big math problem to, to figure all this out the spillways out of the spa were just going to be a real clean stainless steel lip, uh, so it's going to create a shear effect. Now, we could have used some other water features in the other locations, but we wanted those to complement each other, so we did shear descents uh, behind the spa that spill into the spa. We also used shear descents on the radius wall here, uh, where we transition from the pool area over to the seat wall area, which provides some really nice additional seating and then we step up to the dining terrace. This is the point that we had the builder uh, build the walls uh, which matched the stone on the house and then we took over the stone work at that point which incorporated all the retaining walls around the remainder as well
well as the uh, stone on the pool. This is a, a mill sap uh, in a random pattern. Uh, it's very common here. Comes from Mill Sap, Texas, right down the road towards Austin. It's got some really nice brown tones. So one of the things we wanted to do is kind of tie that into the decking. So we have a Versailles pattern uh, travertine here. Uh, this is actually what's called rustic ivory. It's a really nice, has a range in color to it that blends with the mill sap stones, but it's a little bit lighter. So we have a little bit cooler situation. We use the pebble sheen, of course, in the pool. We're a big, big, big fans of pebble sheen. Goes on 99% of our pools. This particular pool color is aqua blue. And then the pool tile, we just wanted simple and understated. We've got a lot of stuff going on here, so we use a six inch ceramic. But in the spa itself, we wanted the comfort of the rolled edge in the spa. And so we did use a glass in that area, which again, complements the ceramic tile on the pool itself. So let's go check out a few of the other things around here. So we had an elevation here that we needed to walk off into the rest of the landscaping. So it was a little bit higher than the pool. So we did a step all the way across the pool so we could step down here and we could access the tanning ledge. Coming from the house, we didn't want a tanning ledge there. We wanted some real classic steps that ran the length of the pool. They also wanted a bubble down there to kind of be a little bit of an understated focal point. And so we did a little radius. We were on this terrace, which is a nice terrace here by the pool. We just have to step up 12 inches to go to the master bedroom. We're gonna step up 12 inches here to the spa terrace. And so in the spa terrace here, we can come over to the spa and we can sit on the edge of it so it's 18 inches it's like a seat wall so it's nice aspect here and then we're going to step up 24 more inches as we go up to the area where we've got the fire pit terrace which is nice and then we step up another six more so we can get the water features coming out here and at this point we can step off into the yard going up the hillside. Now we have that box drain here, which all this water is coming this way to go into this drain. Again, we don't want mulch to cover it. So we got gravel all around it. So it's uh, gonna be very functional, but it's also very clean and neat. We've got some landscaping around. Uh, the rolled edge is a really nice feature on the spa. This spa very comfortably sits eight people. It's an eight by eight in size, uh, which is a, a very large spa. It's, it's bigger than most spas we do, uh, but they have family gatherings of some size. So we've got a fire pit area. We've got a spa terrace area. We've got the spa. We've got another area where we can sit here. We wanted to sit chairs by the fire pit. Pit. This is the height of a table, uh, so it's kind of really nice. Right now, they've got enough seating, and so they didn't put chairs there. We've got a nice seating down here, as well as the dining terrace over on the other side. Uh, you can see it's got the dining room table and the outdoor grill uh, and the retaining walls that hold the rest of the hillside and the trees back. So really nice space uh, that's going here. So I hope this was enjoyable. You can see all the details of the project, understand all the thoughts that went into the project. So this is Mike Farley. We're in West Lake tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed everything, give us a thumbs up. Uh, pass it on to your friends. And if you've got questions, post them below. And we'll see you all sometime soon. Thanks a lot. Bye now.